to my clients and to my friends. It is the first week of May, and I can't believe it, but we are actually entering into week seven of the coronavirus shutdown. My clients have been asking me, what are you seeing in terms of the Orange County real estate market? And Karen, what do you expect is gonna happen when the stay at home order is lifted? How will that affect our market? So I wanna share with you today statistics as well as what I am seeing in the trenches. I am currently working in this market. I am in the trenches and I wanna be able to share with you what I am seeing. The uh, housing inventory is extremely short. We walked into this COVID virus shutdown with a shortage of inventory, low supply. If we look at economics, supply and demand, we had extremely low supply. Then comes along COVID and the small supply that we did have, people decided, many of them decided to take their home off the market. They were distracted by other things going on in their lives and having their home on the market was not something that they wanted to do. So you combine that and we have probably the lowest supply of homes available for people to choose from in the last 40 years. Let's take a look at it from the demand side. From the time the shutdown started until about two weeks ago, demand decreased by 53%. People did not have the time, effort, and energy to go out and look to buy a house. They were just more concerned about their immediate job, raising their kids, educating their kids at home. Going and shopping for a house was not high priority. We have seen in the last 12 days that there has been an increase of about 5% in our demand, and we expect that to increase over the next couple of weeks as well. So if we all remember Economics 101, low supply, a little bit more demand than supply gives us a market where houses are gonna sell. So I will tell you, if you are a seller and you, are in, you have a house and you wanna sell it, it will sell. And if you are a buyer, you can take advantage of the low 3.5% interest rates, and you're not gonna be having to compete with as many people to purchase that home that you like. So hopefully that gives you a little bit of a snapshot of what we are seeing in the marketplace. I took a listing last week, lady needed to sell. She owns two houses, she only needs to own one. So she had a purpose for selling. I was on three other listing appointments this week. I've got buyers moving down here from Santa Clara County. They wanna get their son in school before high school starts in what they thought was gonna be August, and now we hear it might be July. So people have needs to move, and I would say that those that truly need to sell and those that truly need to buy are gonna be matched up in this current market. So the question becomes, what do industry experts tell us is gonna be the new normal once we are out of the shutdown order? I have been listening to about six podcasts per week. I am very picky about what I listen to, and I only wanna be able to hear from those people that truly are experts. So I'm gonna pass along the three trends that we are expecting when this shutdown lifts. Number one, we are still gonna have a shortage of inventory. We're gonna have a low supply of houses for buyers to choose from. Number two, those that are employed are gonna be coming back into the marketplace to buy. They're going to take advantage of the 3.5% interest rates and those that are employed with good paying jobs and they have kept their credit clean over the years, those people will be the buyers in our immediate future. Third of all, interestingly enough, the millennials are going to be pushing this new economy along. Millennials, as we kind of really originally remember being told about that generation, they were 18 to 25. But that was 10 years ago, and that generation is now 25 to 38, and they are in their prime family formation years. These are the years when you get married and you have your babies and you start thinking about suburbia and cul-de-sacs and yards and school districts and those things that were not important to them 10 years ago. If we remember, the baby boomers were the largest demographic, the most number of people born after World War II, and those baby boomers had babies, and those are the millennials, and that is the next large demographic coming into our economic pool. And we expect uh, that demographic, now that they are forming families, to be um, an impetus in our market coming forward. So those are the three trends that we are expecting when we come out of this. Real estate is an essential business. We are still helping people sell houses and helping people buy homes, so call me. I love to work. Talk to you in a couple weeks.